Hi, welcome to a screencast on CouchDB's security features. CouchDB has had a robust authorization model for a long time and supports pluggable authentication. Over the holidays, I did some work to merge all these patches and uh, features together into a nice UI and a simple way for application developers to see who's logged in and take advantage of that for adding security to your applications. So let's take a look at the futon feature. It shows up in CouchDB 0.11 in the lower right hand corner. You'll see on a new installation the words, Welcome to Admin Party, Everyone is Admin. This means that on a new couch, anyone can come in and delete databases or create databases or do pretty much anything. This is great because uh, most of the time you just don't want anything to get in your way when you're working with your database. But if you're going to put your CouchDB in public, then you should set an administrator. Uh, this is important for securing your data. So click fix this and put in your admin credentials. Now you're logged in as the administrator. This is great. This means your CouchDB is secure and unless someone can get your password, uh, there's no way for them to delete databases. So we're going to log out and then see what a normal user would see coming to CouchDB for the first time. They get a choice. The account widget says sign up or log in. Well, I don't have an account yet, so I'll sign up. So I'm just a regular Joe. Joe's signing up. So, now that we're logged in as Joe, I'll show you how Joe can't delete a database. We'll go to my blog database, this is fairly important to me. Click delete database, confirm, and then see that the database could not be deleted. You are not a server admin. So this is great, that means that we're protected against end users coming along and deleting our important data. So as an application developer, how would you know that it's Joe that's logged in? Well, you can just do a request against the session API. This shows you that the user's name is Joe and that they don't have any roles. The name and roles are available in validation functions as well. So you can require, for instance, that only doctors can write prescriptions. So let's learn a little bit more about roles. We'll click Joe in the lower right hand corner and we'll be taken to his user document. We can see here the list of roles that will appear in validation functions when Joe is making a document update. Logged in as Joe, we can't edit these. I'll show you right now. Joe would like to be a doctor so that he can write prescriptions. So we'll attempt to save this document. He gets an error, forbidden, only admin may edit roles. Okay, well let's say we're the admin and we would like to make Joe a doctor so that he can write prescriptions. First we'll log out and log back in as the admin. Now, when we save the document, the save succeeds and Joe's a doctor. Let's log out and log back in as Joe to see this change take effect. Now we're logged in as Joe again, and if we look at the session API, we'll see. There he is, he's got the doctor role, and that means that if we have a validation function that only allows uh, prescriptions to be written by doctors, he'll be allowed to write those prescriptions. So now you've seen how the Futon UI makes sign up and log in easy. There's a few other things you may want to know. First of all, validation functions are crucial. Without validation functions, it doesn't matter what your user's logged in as. So you'll need to read more about those either in the CouchDB book or on the wiki. The other thing you might be curious about is how to add this stuff to your Couch apps. Really, you don't need to worry about it if you don't mind redirecting your users to Futon to do their login, logout, and sign up. On the other hand, the code that Futon uses to do this is all part of the CouchDB package and is all licensed under the Apache license. So if you want to pull some of this out and put it in your application or even just link to it and use it there, you should be able to view source on Futon and get a pretty good idea of how this is working. The goal is to make it so that Couch app developers don't have to think about this stuff at all. They can just take for granted the fact that users are logged in. Anyway, I hope this works for you. Enjoy!